why does it feel like in context learning, actually, we're getting to this like continual learning, real intelligence like thing, whereas you don't get the analogous feeling just from pre training. And so if it's the same algorithm, what could be different? Well, one way you can think about it is how much information does the model store per information it receives from training? And uh, if you look at the 70B model, that would be the equivalent of 0 0.07 bits per mm -hmm. token in that it sees in pre-training in terms of like the information in the weights of the model yep. compared to the tokens it reads. Whereas if you look at the KV cache mm -hmm. and how it grows per additional token in in-context learning, it's like 320 kilobytes. Yeah. So that's a 35 million-fold difference in how much information per token is assimilated yep. by the model. I mean, the way I usually put this is that anything that happens during the training of the neural network, the knowledge is only kind of like a hazy recollection of what happened in train, in the training time. And that's because the compression is dramatic. You've, you're taking 15 trillion tokens and you're compressing it to just your fine neural network of a few billion parameters. So obviously it's a massive amount of compression going on. Whereas anything that happens in the context window of the neural network, you're plugging in all the tokens and it's building up all this KV cache representation, is very directly accessible to the neural net. So I compare the KV cache and the, the stuff that happens at test time to like more like a working memory. Uh, like all the stuff that's in the in the, in the context window is very directly accessible yeah. to the neural net. So there's always like these um, almost surprising analogies between LLMs and humans. And I find them kind of surprising because we're not trying to build a human brain, of course. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that anything that's in the weights, it's kind of like a hazy recollection of what you read a year ago. Anything that you give it as a context uh, at test time is directly in the working memory. Um, and I think that's a very powerful analogy to think through things. 